Your brothers, your brothers. Y'all gotta know y'all better than that, man. Y'all God's chosen people, bro. Y'all can't be just, bro. We need young warriors like y'all. That's right. You see our nation. You see what's going on with our people. Somebody just came in our neighborhood and shot it up. All folk in the community. What if that was your grandmother? What if that was your auntie or your uncle? How would you feel? Teach the people. We wanna be out here killing each other. We supposed to be out protecting each other, loving each other. That's right. But why are we not doing that? Because we ain't teaching each other God's law. That's right. When I look at y'all, you know what I see? This right here. That's right. I right. see Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. That's coming back to say his people that's keeping his commandments. Know who you are, young brothers. You're special to the Lord thy God. Give me to the right chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it you out. You gotta know who you are, young brothers. Bring it out. You're better than this BS I hear that teaching us. You ain't a nigga. You are God amongst this earth. That's right. You're kings. You're princes of the powers of God. You need to understand that, man. You're public enemy number one. Right. They hate you. That's right. right. They want to destroy you. That's right. I have people on the internet saying, why they ain't come to the hood and do that? Da -da 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 -da. They ain't got to. Why? Because our minds are destroyed. We got right. shackles on our mind. What do you need to come to our community for? We killing each other about a hundred right. every day. Bring it up. Dude. What do you need to come to our community for? Right. Young niggas out here, young brothers out here, hey, young brothers out here, killing each other, game over colors, over a different hand sign. No, but my brothers out the seen shot down and killed in the street because I was involved in that same foolishness. One of my friends got shot 23 times and ain't learned this lesson yet till he got killed in the penitentiary. I don't want that for you, young brothers. Bring it up. God says you're special. Read what you got. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art in holy people Come on. unto the Lord thy God. What's your name, young brothers? I got to know. Devontae. Devontae, my brother. The Lord says you are special above all people on the face of the earth. You got to understand that, brothers. Why don't we treat each other like we're special? When I see you in the street and you need something to eat, why I can't reach my pocket and feed my brother? If I see you down and up, why I can't look at you like you're special and help my young brother out? That's right. Why well, I can't say bro, don't do that, bro. Don't come on, man. Come with me. Come on. Let's let me show you how to work on the car and then show you how to do something productive with yourself. Why we ain't doing that to our young people? The elders, they failed our community. Right. They failed our community. That's right. Now we got our young brothers here today. We're here to teach you God's laws, man. That's, that's to show you right. special above all nations on the face of the earth. Y'all gotta understand that. We ain't equal to nobody. Right. That's right. The Lord said you're special above all nations. Right. You're above the people that bought you in chains. You're above the person that shot that church in South Carolina. You're above that person that shot that grocery store in Buffalo, New York. Right. You're above them. Right. But why are we below them right now in society? Because we broke God's laws. Right. Right. That's why we're below them. Because we hate each other. Right. Because we despise each other. But you special, brothers. Right. I want y'all to look at that flyer, man. When you go home, you look in the mirror and say, I am somebody. I am an Israelite. Right. Who are we? Israelite. Who are we? Israelite. What do we come to do? Take, take the, the kingdom. kingdom. The only way we can take the kingdom is keeping God long. That's right. That's right. Proverbs right. chapter 7 and verse 2. Bring it you don't up. understand this, young brother. You're better in this community, man. This is nothing. We're in ruins. We're in captivity. We are in captivity right now. You ever seen a caged animal? They got, you got, uh, just look uh, at the zoo. You got these, they had these chimpanzees. They were in captivity for like 14 years. And then they finally let them outside. And they were happy, but they were afraid to go outside because they didn't know what to expect. But guess what? As the camera panned out, it was a huge cage surrounding them. They were still in captivity. Just like today, though the chains and shackles are off our hands and feet, they're on our minds, young brothers. Right. Been, we've been taught to kill each other and to hate each other. Read what you got, but we got to keep God's commandments so we can do what? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Read it out. Keep my commandments and live. You hear what God said? Keep his commandments and live. But we got to teach our people their commandments. We got to turn around and come back to God's laws. We got to know who we are. Give me 1 Kings chapter 8, start at verse 46. Bring it up. Young brothers, come here for a second. I got to talk to you, young brother. Because I guarantee you when I cut the news on in the morning, it's going to see a lot of fatalities. It's going to be faces that look just like y'all. Look at this sign right here. Look at, come here, come here. Look at this sign right here. And I don't want to see y'all face on the front cover of the news tomorrow. Look at this right here. This is what the Lord calls his people. This is what the world calls his people. Now tell me what tribe are you from. This is the tribe right here. This is what the world calls you. Read this. Find out what, find out what your tribe is. As you look at this sign, bring this out. First Corinthians 8. This is the book. Of first Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. 
We all, young brothers, we all have sinned. But there's a chance for us, young brothers. Read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives. The Lord our God was angry with us. You see this right here? Y'all know about slavery? I know they don't teach it in school. I know they don't. Because they don't even want to deal with CRT right now. Y'all know about slavery, right? Look over there. You see that on that gazebo right there? Yeah. Guess what's under that gazebo? Do y'all know? Y'all from right here, from Portsmouth. Y'all born and raised, and y'all know what's under that gazebo? A slave auction block. That's, right. Right. That's what's under that gazebo. They ain't even tell y'all that, did it? Right here in your community. Look at this right here. Look at this. Yeah, right there. <laughs> One of those right there, that gazebo is building right there. One of those right here. Right here. Yeah, that gazebo is built around a slave auction block, but they don't teach us that. Read. Unto the land of the enemy far or near. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. If you bethink yourself, you find your tribe on that side of who you are. Read. In the land whether they were carried captives. We were carried captive here in America by cargo slave ships sold in this auction block right here in Craddock in Portsmouth, Virginia. Read. And repent. And we do what? Repent. Repent. Turn back to God's laws. Stop killing each other. Brothers, take care of your wives. Brothers, brothers, take care of your wives. Brothers, take care of your children. Repent. Come back to God's laws. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives here in America. That making that supplication is knowing said, God, forgive me for my sins, for my trespass against your Lord. Read. Saying, we have sinned. Saying what? We have sinned. Admitting your faults. Confess your sins one to another. Saying, we have sinned. Read. And have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. We have done what? Committed wickedness. Young brothers. Rape. Murder. Stealing. Killing. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that wickedness or is that righteousness? That's wicked. What 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 do young people call it today? Demon time. Don't they call it today now? Don't they call it today now? They call it demon time now. When they about to do something wicked. That's the evil thing, young brothers. We gotta turn away from that. We get home, we gotta crack them books open. We gotta exercise, take care of our bodies, exercise our minds. Get back into this Bible, get back into God's law. That's right. Not listen to this foolishness they teach out here in the street. Right. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen. So we got to come out to our laws, our God. We got to pray to him and go back to his laws. You see these young fast girls right here? They're going to get you caught up, young brothers. They won't get you caught up. It's all kind of diseases out here. Baby mama drama. Y'all young brothers sexually active. I know y'all are. I know y'all are. Y'all gotta be mindful of that thing, man. Sex, you gotta save that for marriage, young brothers. You gonna be out here and they gonna get you caught up. Teach up. They gonna have you caught up with child support. You gonna be paying that thing for a very long time. That's right. And That's guess right. what? Right here in the Commonwealth of Virginia, they don't play no games when it comes to that child support. That's right. right. Ask me how I know. Right. Ask me how I know. Right. Because I'm dealing with that thing right now. That's they right. They will jack you up. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Bring it Save up. that thing. I know it's hard out here. They out here showing all kind of, they showing their body off. They talking to you. They licking their tongue out at you. But brother, you're going to save yourself from a lot of heartache. And you're going to save your folks from destruction. And you also going to help save your nation by not sleeping outside of marriage. That's Hebrews right. 13 and 4. Read. Yo. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Read it out. Marriage is honorable in all. Come on. And the bed undefiled. You hear what God said? Marriage is honorable. I know y'all not of marital age. How old are y'all? 17, how do you? 17, y'all got three more years to be of marital age. The Lord said, marriage is honorable above all. And read. But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers. Y'all know what whoremongers is. Yeah, you know what a whoremonger is? A whoremonger is a man going to spend with multiple women. That's a whoremonger. Read. God will judge. God said he would judge whoremongers. How will God judge whoremongers? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 61. We're going to show you something in the Bible, brothers. Because I want y'all young brothers to take heed of this word and take this back home. You both of y'all got flyers? And hey, get that young brother a flyer. Get the volunteer a flyer. Y'all cousins, brothers, homeboys. That's your brother. 
and y'all get home and y'all crack them books over, man. Get on the internet. Get on that smartphone. Do some smart for them. Stop looking at that ass. Leave that ass alone for, for, for a while. Get into them books, That's man. Right. That's right. Do your research. Know who you are. The information out there. It's the digital age. It's out there for us to learn. But they flaw, they cloud our minds with foolishness. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Bring it out. I told you. The Lord said marriage is autumn on the bed under fire. So if you don't, if you step outside of that, sleep around with these fast ass young girls, this is what God gonna do to so you. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee. Stop. What's a sickness or a plague that we want to even find? You might not know. What's a sickness or a plague what cause we're sleeping around with multiple women? Protect your own protect. Because sometimes the cops will pop over. What's some plagues or sicknesses that happen to our people for sleeping with women outside of marriage? Right. AIDS, what else? Mm -hmm. what, what, what kind of STDs? He said, your brother said AIDS. What else you got? Herpes, syphilis, chlamydia. Hepatitis C, gonorrhea, those are what, what will God do again? Bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Mm -hmm. You see that? The Lord said he will bring these curses upon you, these plagues, these STDs, till you've been destroyed. That's what God will do. You should go out and see what he's showing. You know you can catch some stuff but let them put their mouth on you, right? You can still catch it that way. By some type of transformation of fluid, you can catch it that way. Y'all must be very mindful, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.